Chef Johnny. Uh, uh, Hello. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we haven't seen you in a long time. Well, I've been just so utterly busy that I just forgot all about the show. Well, your fans are longing. Boys and girls, Chef Johnny Ear Nears, all you fanatics, all you Chef Joan addicts, don't, don't be scared. Don't get sad. I would never leave you guys. Now, as always, we're making us some delicious, delectable, dandy, drinkable tea. Ooh. Now, as you saw in the last episode of Chef Johnny's Kitchen of Glory, we were making some teas. That episode was called Glazed Fashion. Today... I don't know what we're going to show you. We'll have to come up with something. Well, is there anything different about these teas? Actually, no. Are they the same? You see, this one here is called Flat Belly Pu'er. It is a loose leaf tea. Now, you see, the last time we made our teas, we used tea bags. This time, we're using spoons. Teaspoons. There's tea inside of here. And for this one, it's like a UFO. It's like a spaceship. It's a capsule. It's a tea time capsule. And what it does is it contains tea leaves. Fresh ground tea leaves. That you just sit in here and stick them in your little cups. Dump them in your food. And let that go in. And you can come out. And you put them in your there's a little hook that hooks on the side of the cup. You can just stick it on in there and let that boil in hot water to get stuck. We're gonna let these sit in here for about five minutes. Chef Johnny, would you show us your tea collection and tell us more about the different kinds of loose leaf tea? Please. Well, Boys and girls, have I got a surprise. Let you into my lair. This is my lair. In here, I've got organic English breakfast. That's a loose leaf tea. Gunpowder Temple of Heaven is a green tea. Goom Tea Darjeeling Oolong is an oolong tea from Darjeeling, the province, like Rhode Island. Uh, Chef Johnny, what did you think of that tea? It had zero flavor. Nothing. Uh. It's like drinking water. Hot water. Don't get it. Climbers High. This is quite a mixture. It's, it's got roasted yerba mat. Pu'er tea, black tea, green tea, white tea, ginger root, cinnamon, green cardamom, licorice root, ginseng root, saff, just mad about saffron, black pepper, pepper, you know, like a chew, clove, fennel, safflower, peppermint, tulsi, which is holy basil. Ginger and vanilla flavoring. Climber's high. Nice. This is 1980s. 35 years aged royal pu'er. 35 years. Tastes like fish food. Don't know if you've ever had it. I don't suggest you try it, but it's just like sleeping little fishes. Flat belly pu'er. It's black, it's, it's pu'er tea, aged five years, with hibiscus, peppermint, licorice root, and fennel. Terry Lapsang Sushang Superior. It's Lapsang Sushang in loose leaf form. It's delicious. It tastes like smoked, smoked leaves. How smoky? So incredibly smoky. 
as if you were breathing in, in steeping smoke from a campfire. Organic rubos. It's red rubos. You know, like red, red wine. Hua Shan Hong Ya. Yellow. This is yellow tea. Don't know if you've ever heard of yellow tea, but what it is. See, you've got your black teas and your green teas are your most popular ones. Then you got oolong teas, which is in between black and green tea. Then you got your white tea. I don't know where that is located. And then you have your yellow tea. <clears throat> I think it's in between oolong and green because it's not yet oolonged and it's not still yet green, it's yellow. Da Hong Pao Super Fine Big Red Robe. Big Red Robe. This here, ladies and gentlemen, is Oolong Tea. I had searched for a long time, Zeus, looking for the tea that tastes like the Thai tea you can buy in Chinese restaurants. Like Kung Pao and Hu Xing and Sha Xing and Big Brother down the corner there, where they get the red stuff going on there and it tastes real good. Big Red Robe is as close as you can get to Thai tea. Well, I think that about does it for the loose leaf tea. But we've got Tetley's British Blend. It's just black. They come in little bits. Little bits. The discs are so... It's hard to say for me with my lisp and everything. They're so super fine. You just put about four of them in your cup and you're good to go. Get your little caffeine on there going. Barrington honey flavored tea. Never tried it. Probably won't try it. <laughs> English breakfast. Another from Barrington tea. I think I got this at Big Lots at one point. It was two dollars. Not Redner's. Oh, it did not come from Redner's Warehouse at Marcus in Shenandoah, Pennsylvania. They don't sell junk. They sell Toppity Primo Lime. You get two boxes of Big Low for like six dollars. We got some Celestial Seasoning. Sleepy Time is an herbal tea. Sleepy, sleepy, sleep. We have here. Some gingerbread spice. You ever try it? Pretty sure it's good. It's gotta have ginger in there. Cinnamon, roasted, chicory, ginger. Don't know what any of that means. It doesn't smell good. It smells like dirty socks. <laughs> I wouldn't try it. Chef Johnny, what's your favorite tea of all time? It's got to be a mix of the big red roll and lapstang sushang mm. and the regular oolong. Bigelow's oolong is pretty good too. Just don't know why it's so delicious. They're all so delectable. Berry fusion. Herbal. Some more of that. We got some of that. Red zinger. You ever have a zinger? <laughs> Not like the cupcakes. No, this is a red zinger. Zinger is, zinger is just a term. So that when you try it, it makes you feel like this. Red zinger. True blue. The bluest of the berries. It's probably sweet. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Oh, 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 vanilla chai. I gotta try it. Oh, oh, surprise! It's not vanilla chai. It's uh, some organic English English breakfast. Some regular green tea from Bigelow. More regular green tea from Bigelow. Some salad, white tea, white tea. No flavor to white tea. Some cleanse, organic cleanse. Walmart's brand, you see, they're cheap, but they make some good teas. Cheap. 
Cleanse. Cleanse out the Caprioles. Don't worry about that one. Pomegranate. Don't worry about that one either. Or that. Or that. Don't worry about any of this. It's not vanilla chai. It's all kinds of stuff. Probably organized together in that box. So we don't worry about them. Because nobody goes for the blueberry because nobody likes to drink blueberry tea. You want to drink tea? You want to drink some black tea? Some green tea? Nobody drinks blueberries. And we have Irish breakfast. One of my personal favorites. But it's probably not Irish breakfast. We can't afford that. <laughs> it's not true. It's about $200 worth of tea there. I accumulated it. That was so much time. Peppermint licorice. Wild sweet orange. Oh, I like Tazzo's tea. We just got so much tea going on in this here house. You don't, you don't understand. You don't, if you've ever been where we've been, where we've come through, you would understand. Sometimes you just need tea for survival. This is salted caramel sugar. <laughs> this here is green tea with jasmine flowers rolled up in the nice little balls. Roll up into nice little nuggets. And this here is just a little bit of a Emperor's Chai Tea. Looks like gravel, but it's delicious. All of these were gifts from a dear, dear friend. I'm so, so very thankful for these. So that's just about the Kids of our tea collection. That's not to mention all the stuff we got over here. <laughs> we bought some uh, Barrington English. There's the last vanilla chai. We're saving it for the end of the world. You never know when that's gonna be. And we got some more uh, cleanse. And thanks to another dear friend of ours who hopefully never watches this show. <sighs> be baffled. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Hawaiian Islands Tea Company. This is literally from Hawaii. We had some friends who were vacationing down in the beautiful islands of Hawaii. And they brought back this here tea. It's mango flavor. That one is too. And this is ginseng green tea. Ginseng. We got those right here. And in here we've got Earl Grey tea organic. There's nothing in there. Oh, yes there is. That is certainly some Earl Grey. It's a fun little box. We can do whatever we want with this. There's nothing in there. But it did contain premium green tea. Vanilla flavored green tea. Jeez. It's delicious. We got a box over here. Some gourmet Ceylon tea. Earl Grey flavor. Here's our little secret. Look at this deliciousness. Here's some, it's supposed to be orange picoe tea. But what it really consists of. I'm gonna start walking out again. Caprioles are you know, a little weak. Oh my god, it is what it says it is. It's orange piquelle from back in the day. Oh god, this has got to be delicious. Look at how beautiful that is. Can you see it? It's delicious. It's delicious. We're big tea connoisseurs in this place. We love our tea. Every day, once or twice a day, we have ourselves a big, fresh, hot cup of tea. Just like y'all gotta have your cup of joe. It's just like that. And only here, at Chef Johnny's Kitchen Accord, we have our teeth. I don't mind making several episodes showing y'all how to make some tea. Most people think that you can just take your tea bag and shove it in your cup with the hot water and let it sit there. Now that works. That is one way to steep your tea, but it is not the way we do it here at Chef Johnny's Kitchen Accord. But this time, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> I 
I mean, all the loose tea leaves just floating around in your cup, getting caught in your teeth and stuff. That's not going to kill you. It'll be all right. I'll be fine. And think to the bottom by the time all the cream rises to the top. <clears throat> so I got something in my throat there. I don't know what happened. Flatberry player. It's a little bit like violet looking, like violet. You know, like the color. Jeez, that's going to be delicious. Circles like a tornado. Right? And then add your, your cream around, baby. Ah! Isn't that beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? Isn't that just great? And uh, boy, I lost my spoon. Don't worry, it's a little dumpy. 